development in the in the la- last cup, which yeah, a couple of weeks. Uh, it has been a few clips from Mark Thompson, who's part of the business school, and has has put a, a video online about the public sector and uh, di- digital technology in that context. But he's he's included universities as part of the a public sector. So wh- what he's talking about will will relate to universities as as well, which I think is 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 very interesting. Um, and also radio. He he gave, he gave Hart uh, as an example of a national network that uh, is changing less less local uh, resource, but working working okay n- none, nonetheless, in his opinion. Um, I think we can we can argue about that perhaps. What interests me about the business school aspect goes back to poets and quants because apparently um, there's going to be a, a a sort of league table um, for digital universities. The, the Times Higher Education are going to do... Um, well, they do. They do several tables of different universities in in order, but there's going to be one. Which I think it's going to be international, uh, all about um, digital universities. So presumably, during this conference next month, this this will uh, this will be announced, or or there'll be more detail about it. But so far. It seems to be mostly about undergraduate courses, and I, I think it's possible that, that the, once universities get more into digital, that it's going to change what they concentrate on. So they might be doing more short courses or lifelong learning courses. Um, the artificial intelligence lends itself to that, I think. Um, Accenture have bought Udacity initially to train their own staff in AI as far as, I, as far as I've understood it so far but there'll be more details about that I imagine at late, late, late later point um, but it seems to me that um, and this is ju- just rumour uh, that it's been because you you can't apparently you can't include um, the business school aspects in the uh, data for this ranking on digital universities, um, but the business school must must be part of the scene somehow. So maybe um, although THE has has bought. Poets and Quants. Poets and Quants is a, is a business school ranking reporting organisation. Um, and possibly they're going to have their own rating of the business schools as digital business schools. But um, can you put all these things together in, in some way? Assuming those th- those things do do exist, um, but I would do, I would I'm thinking of that from a from a poet point of view, not not a quant point of view. In other words, as I've understood it, the the this um, this idea of poets and quants, the the poets just go by instinct; they don't actually have any numbers. To support what they're what they're saying, um, but I'm thinking just in terms of dialogue. This is a drama show, so uh, it it it's bits of reality come into it, and um, the the can be documentary. I'm going to I'm, some when when I'm next talking to the documental theatre or documental productions, I'm going to try and find out a bit more about the what the scope is for bits of evidence as well as bits of um, drama. Um, 
because uh, I think I think you, you can have ratings based on a percentage of different other ratings and come up with something else. But I'm going to do it just by bits of dialogue that at some point there would be people who are, who were part of a business school who also turn up elsewhere in the campus, let's say the Digital Humanities Lab or uh, the Innovation Centre Cafe or various various other places and just, just have um, conversations. And I, I do keep going back to the, the buildings because, um, including the student accommodation, because um, pe- people who, who just live in Exeter that's what that's what gets noticed and um it it doesn't make a lot of sense um if things are moving online that the the same amount of student accommodation would be needed indefinitely so that is that is what the um what the what the play is about so the the so the cd walk let's just concentrate on the cd walk for the moment which is moving about inside of, of Exeter where the record shops used to be and I think there's now enough um, material or indication to, to imagine how the how the business school scene would fit into that um, so far I would I would say they've um, concentrated on buildings over the last decade which is roughly when the MOOC has been around I think the UK business schools have mostly been spending money on on buildings but I might be might be wrong about that Um, if anybody's got information on uh, what they're doing moving online if they're investing in in platforms um, that would be that would be very interesting I have got this next clip lined up now (laughs) 